お前は一体何なんだ友達だ What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to War of the Visions here on Fort Misery Gaming. And we got a brand new layout that we're going to be trying to do going forward, bringing you guys the news a little bit more interactive, um, especially when we have new gear pieces to farm for, which we're going to have in the new armor training event. And we're going to have a smart coat, and we're also going to have the golden helm. Now, these are obtainable as well through the shop but we're gonna have their own drop event. So up above my head here, you guys are gonna see the three different types listed in all their stats at plus five. So hope that is useful to you guys. You guys can see that as I'm going through the news today, but let's get into it. So we are first gonna be seeing chapter six, scene one on May 13th. So you guys know it's been pretty much substantiated every two weeks, we're gonna get one new scene for chapters until they completely stop. So. Uh, you know, take that advantage to get some new viz, to get your player rank up, all that good stuff, all the different rewards you guys will see. We'll see if Chapter 6 is going to bring the red slash pink materials for our job class or if we're still going to be dealing with yellow. So we'll see how that plays. Alright, so now we have their equipment training quest, Brutal Difficult. So this may be harder than what we were used to. So, but you guys see here, we're going to be able to farm the Smart Coat and Golden Helm, all that good stuff. And it's attempt to get the Golden Helm crafting mitts crafting materials, as well as secret books of refinement. So what's to note here is that even if you don't want to build the smart coat and the golden helm, your secret books can be used for all other types of gear. So if you're going to be building like mithril armor or any other kind of piece of armor that you guys may have access to, this is a very good opportunity, guys, to use your stamina and your co-op time to farm those books because right now the only way to get them is through the PvP shops. So that is, in which I don't recommend buying them, trying to buy them daily or, you know, every other day or however much you farm PvP, um, just because you're wanting to get the actual uh, UR uh, crafting recipes for PvP or seals for different things. So, but you're going to be able to get those and seals and we're going to go over all that stuff as well uh, throughout the news. So that's, uh, that's going to be the new training quest that you guys are going to have access to. All right, next with chapter six being released, we are gonna have a new chapter six event period, which is we're gonna have a login bonus, a double story EXP, uh, and then a daily purchase bonus. So let's get into that. So first of all, the same kind of login bonus. This is pretty much every single login bonus that we're getting for a five day period, which is gonna give you 2,500 viz, 30 silver cubes, 30 rare growth eggs, 30 gold amantiites, 30 small uh, stamina potions, and then 30 skip tickets. So nothing really we need to talk about there. Uh, log in daily, get all that good stuff. So story EXP, this is something new though. So during the event period, enjoy the double unit EXP and story quest. So that means you're gonna get double the experience points to level your heroes. So if you guys are still working on your Orlandus, on your Ramzas, maybe you guys have been working on Kipton, uh, you know, any of those units that you guys have been pulling for or any units you've come into shards for or rainbow fragments for That's a very good opportunity to bring them into story level them up all that good stuff I know we are going to be having this new gear event drop too So you are going to want to split up your time as always to focusing on both But if you're really starving for pure levels because it sucks that you can't use like your bronze cubes and your silver cubes past a certain level point in the game um, this is a good opportunity to try to power level them to get them geared up, uh, you know, leveled up wise for PvP, different uh, PvE content, all that good stuff. So keep in mind for that. Uh, that's a pretty cool event. This is the first time we're getting that on Global, so take advantage of that. And then next, we are going to be getting 60 Vizior paid. You guys buy that every day. So $1 a day over five days, which I recommend you guys do. I personally always buy the $1 stamina pack for three large pots. It's just a really, really good deal. Gets me my daily pull for the day plus a little bit extra paid, and then um, is gonna get me these rewards here. So you guys are gonna be able to get your 40 shards of Whisper, do that all five days, on top of getting 100 faint purple memory um, memory job materials, the rainbow vision sphere, which is super important. I highly recommend at least spend $2. <laughs> Unless you're completely free to play and you just you refuse to spend money on, on this game, then I get it, but if you're able to spend any kind of money, at least spend two bucks to get your rainbow sphere. Uh, then you guys are going to get dark, uh, the Dark Awakening Prisons and then Dark Fragment of Thought as well. Ten of those each. Normal stuff for the... 
And finally, guys, we are going to be getting a new-ish banner. No new unit of heroes, but we are going to be getting the coveted Odin Esper UR, which is looked at as being the best definitive or one of the best definitive Espers in the game. Him and Greetings of Afar UR Vision card will be added to the pool, and as well as Odin Battle will be added to Beast. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is definitely added to the regular pool so i will make a should you summon video probably tomorrow on this i'll go over all of the stats on the vision card and the esper but you do not have to summon on this like our final fantasy tactics banner they are always be in the pool so if you guys do not want to pull for it now i totally get it you guys are still probably especially if you guys did go in on katone then you guys probably are going to be you know, starred for Vizor at the moment. So, you know, just keep that in mind. This is definitely not a should use, like a massive, you have to summon for this Esper, even though it is looked as very, very highly in the game. It's not necessary. But to briefly go over that, oh, he is very, very good because he does, uh, the vision card gives you uh, boost man eater bestowed effects. Very, very good. And then unit attack res up. So it is very, very strong for the vision card uh, because that is a, premium ability to have in pvp and we'll go into more detail on that as well um and then from um greetings of afar that is going to be oh i'm sorry this is only an mr card my bad uh so this is going to be an mr card it's going to boost aquatic killer so that's going to be used for uh water enemies and then magic up on bestowed so pretty decent um you know it's it's decent for an mr overall you know it's it gives magic up as bestowed so that's something you could always throw on your medina um, you know, to give her some extra magic boosts. So, and then here you guys see the beast den. So, all right, guys. So that is everything we have for... All right, and finally, to wrap up, guys, I did pull this from our trusty wotvffbe.gamea.co site, which I use as a resource for a lot of uh, database information. So they did have here from the JP server what the rewards were for your record missions, which is going to be for the first five clears you guys are going to get one rainbow sphere 20 books five of each of those seals uh then we're going to get uh 200 viz 20 books five of each seal once again for your three times clear and it looks like from uh you get three seals one time and then two of the other seals you're going to get twice uh and then the 20 books as normal and then five times quest reward you guys are going to get 300 viz one rainbow sphere 20 bucks two hammers two of each of those hammers and then for the multiplayer mission, so yes, this will have multiplayer, like like all the other equipment grind events we've had, is going to give you 100 viz for the clear the quest once. Um, you guys are going to get uh, the rainbow sphere. You guys are going to get 20 books, and then five of each of those two seals there. And then once again, 200 viz for three time clear, 20 books, five, five, five for the other three seals. So that is going to be for the limited mission rewards. Then if we go into the drops, these are the drops that you guys can get. So the seals, it looks like, are limited. So you only are going to get those seals a limited amount of times. They are not repeat farmable, but the materials for crafting and the books are farmable. So that is very important to know. So you will have to be careful um, as far as what gears you are going to be looking to use for your plus fives, depending on the stat rolls, obviously. So you will get some of those seals, but um, probably you're not going to get enough to make like, you know, probably a full out, like say you wanted a smart code on all three of your units. You're probably not going to get enough seals to be able to maximize your stat rolls on those or golden helmets either. Um, so, but we are, those are the drop over rewards, the adamantiites, the book, the crafting materials. I would assume that's everything you're going to need to craft up to a plus five for your coat and your helmets. And then you guys see here on your first time uh, clears on the mission as well for the uh, five for like five star clearing the mission here, guys. You guys are going to see three of the recipes for each the helmet and the coat. And then you guys are going to get 10 of each of the higher materials. Um, it looks like the bone and the purple uh, crystal. Uh, you are not going to get the liquid or the. Uh, or the other uh, like sphere material, but you are gonna get a rainbow fragment. So that's all of the uh, information guys for that we have for the new update coming up here on the channel. So if you guys did enjoy today's video and you guys are excited for Odin, you guys are excited for the coat and the helmet, definitely drop those off in the comment section down below. Or if you're excited for chapter six, if you guys are super into the story, 
and you guys are excited to see what's going to happen in Chapter 6. That's something else you guys also be looking forward to. So let me know how you guys like this new layout presentation video format for you guys. I think it looks pretty cool. So let me know if you guys want me to change anything up, add anything to it, that kind of stuff. I'll do my best to accommodate you guys. And uh, definitely taking all your feedback for the video, guys, to give you guys a more enjoyable uh, uh, look through as we create this content for you guys here on the channel. So thank you guys so much, though, for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Ring that bell so you are notified for the next upload. And I thank you guys so much for watching here on Fort Misery Gaming today for War of the Visions. Thank you guys so much once again, and I will see you all in the next video. Be safe out there. Wash your hands. Take care of your friends, family, all that good stuff, and have an awesome day, guys.